Yes, dearest friends and families, I want to give you a special presentation in the raw on this archaic Guyana Free Media lies. Misrepresentation by Williams and Cummings did not budge the OAF diplomats. And this is taken from the Guyana Times of uh, Friday, July 24, today, ladies and gentlemen. And if you still look at this tomorrow or another day, then it would have been that day, July 24th. But before I go to that, I wish to make a quick comment to the sugar workers and the sugar unions. I know money is needed, but we have to know sugar is not a big thing on the market. It's badly administrated and, ma and, and, and done in Guyana, friends and families, ladies and gentlemen. I want to advise the workers and the sugar union to try to use dialogue and common sense and wisdom to try and sort things out instead of fighting the government because they might just jump and close the other estates as a kind of a vengeance for the sugar workers that have been voted for them. So I'm advising you all to try to be calm and try to use intelligence and wisdom. Sugar unions and sugar workers, take whatever little you can get and be grateful. And to the article. Lies misrepresentation by Williams and Cummings did not budge OES diplomats by Eric Phillips. Sorry, we can cut out a piece. It did not budge the OES from their statement and the reality of truth, ladies and gentlemen, by Mr. Mark Phillips, Prime Ministerial candidate. The lies and misrepresentation peddled by de facto Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Karen Cummings and Attorney General Basil Williams did not have any impact whatsoever during the meeting convened on Tuesday by the Organization of American States Permanent uh, Council to discuss the political situation in Guyana. According to People's Progressive Party, the civic PPPC Prime Ministerial candidate Brigadier Mark Phillips, Williams and Cummings wasted their time and embarrassed the entire country in trying to convince the OAS high-level body that David Granger's uh, APNU AFC coalition is abiding by democratic norms. And if you may ask me a commentary, ladies and gentlemen, embarrassed the APNU AFC and the de facto acting president as well, terribly, but do they care? I doubt, I doubt it. Phillips, during a virtual interview program, captioned government in transition, posited that OAS Secretary General Louis Almagro and all the other diplomats were well informed about the political impasse in Guyana, which is largely due to the APNU AFC coalition refusing to accept that it has lost the March 2nd general and regional elections. They were unable in their lives and the misrepresentation to budge the opinions formed by these diplomats. Phillips expressed, he added, notwithstanding the attempts to, to misrepresent the issues by Cummings and Williams, when you listen to their presentations by the ambassadors, and the Secretary General of the OAS, these diplomats are well informed as to the situation in Guyana that is uh, what saved the day. According to Phillips, it was embarrassing to listen to Cummins and Williams deliberately trying to mislead the diplomats. He noted that Cummins and Williams should have been speaking on behalf of the state as against taking a party APNU AFC position on the issues. And that is correct, ladies and gentlemen, because they are ministers of the government, not ministers of the party. When a party takes government, it speaks for the country and the people. What Williams and Cummings did there, they wasted their time and they made Guyana look bad. The PM, Prime Minister candidate, highlighted. Phillips noted that it was very unfortunate that he and fellow PPPC executive member Anil Nandalal were allowed to speak at the meeting in order to correct the mis 
representation by Cummings and Williams. The Apno and AFC de facto ministers have come under severe fire recently for causing Ireland's further embarrassment and humiliation on the world stage by peddling untruth about the current political climate to the country. Williams blatantly told the OAS that the CCJ Caribbean Court of Justice never made a ruling that the result of the recount must be used by the GCOM to determine the results of the elections. However, such an assertion is clearly inaccurate since it is written judgment in the Eslin David case. The CCJ said, unless and until an election court decides otherwise, the votes already counted by the recount process as valid votes are incapable of being declared invalid by any person or authority. Similarly, Cummins told the OAS that the APNU AFC coalition has not interfered in the electoral process, but it is the APNU AFC through its supporters that has been approaching the courts time after time to block the Elections Commission, GCOM, from making a declaration based on the recount results. According to Phillips, all the speakers during the meeting of the Permanent Council sent a clear message to the stakeholders in Guyana, that is, the certified recount results must be used to declare a winner of the elections and the declaration must be made with haste. In other words, my commentary, time is of essence. Phillips, the former army head, said the APNU EFC wants to hang on to power at all costs. But this is not the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s. This is the 21st century. He suggested that the older folks in the PNC APNU should step aside and allow the youths to take over since uh, the young professional professionals are more in tune with the 21st century values, which includes democracy. Based on the results of the national recount, the BBPC has won the elections by securing 223,336 votes, but APNU-AFC is refusing to concede a defeat in spite of mounting international pressure. The BBPC won by over 15,300 plus votes, friends and families. Ladies and gentlemen, your friend, your brother, say thank you for tuning in to this as I continue to present to you more and more of RK's guy in the free media in the raw and the specialized Vigitronic version by yours truly, me, Haji, brother Dr. Roshan Khan, saying thank you for tuning in and farewell.